Last two minute video, we showed you how to install a set of JW Speaker J2 high performance LED headlights. This two minute video, we're gonna show you how to aim them. Aiming headlights in a JK is really easy. You just need a few things. You need a small T15 Torx bit, a tape measure, some tape, and a hoodie or a blanket, some sort of cloth you can cover a headlight with. So the adjustment part is really pretty easy. On the upper outer part of the headlight, on both the right and left hand side, is a little screw. You can slide a small T15 Torx bit in and get right in there and adjust it in, adjust it out to bring your beam pattern up and out or down and in. Unfortunately, stock, that is the only adjustment you can do on a North American JK. Where does the tape and the tape come into play? Well, we're gonna use them to measure the height of the headlight and then go out and measure and put tape on a wall so we can see where our beam pattern is. Now, you know, before I show you how to do this, I do gotta say, there's multiple different ways to aim headlights and it seems like everybody's got their opinion on which way is the best. This is the way I like to do them. It works really good whether you're a stock height vehicle like this or whether you're lifted. So we're gonna measure down to the ground and we're gonna measure right up, right to the center of the headlight. This one here is right about 36 and three quarter. Now we're doing this in the studio. We've got a nice flat level concrete floor. We've got a wall and the Jeep's parked 25 feet away. And we can come up to this wall and measure up that 36 and three quarter. And we wanna put a piece of tape right there. Then we'll move over a little bit. And do the same thing. Now we'll turn out the lights. You can actually see the headlight here and it's a little high for our headlight height, which is maybe why I've been flashed the last couple mornings on the way to work. But let's fix that. This is where that blanket or that hoodie comes in handy. We're gonna use it to block off one of the headlights so we can adjust one beam pattern at a time. Now, if we look at that beam pattern, as I start turning clockwise, see how it lifts as we turn it counterclockwise. Now we can see that beam pattern drop down. And we can get just below our tape marks there. Move our blanket over, cover that headlight. We, as we drop that passenger side beam, we're gonna come right back down to our tape again. And this is the ditch side. So having a little hide, maybe not so bad. So now if we move our blanket, we've got both beam patterns going. Now, as you can see, those beams, they've dropped down quite a bit. The question is, will anybody flash their lights at us as we drive? We can always adjust depending on whether we get flashed or not. We don't wanna be those Jeep guys that are blinding everybody. But we also wanna make sure that we can see as good as we can down the road. So that's how you aim the headlights in your JK. It's simple to do and only takes a couple minutes. Now, unfortunately, that's the only adjustment you have because these screws are right up in the upper top corner of the headlight. As you screw in, the headlights are gonna go up and out or as you unscrew them, they're gonna come down and in. So you don't have a whole lot of adjustment. But we do have a fix for you. And these are the European adjusters from Mopar. We've got them here at Northridge 4x4. 
And if you remove the grill, you can install them right in. The grill even has the little indents so that you can get to them and adjust them with that T15 Torx bit. You wanna see how it's done? And once you have the headlight out of the way, we've got the single adjustable pin, and then we have these two non-adjustable pins. This is the one we're gonna replace. We need to remove this headlight bucket from the pins. So we're gonna start with our T15 and start unscrewing. And then we're gonna grab this and just very carefully wiggle it and it comes off those pins. And then we'll take a 15 millimeter socket and unscrew the non-adjustable pin. And we don't need that anymore. Take our new Euro adjuster pin, pop it in from the backside. We line the adjusting screws in. And just start screwing them in. And then once we get them both in a ways, we can snap the other non-adjustable, that third non-adjustable pin in place. and then continue to screw the adjustable pins in. Now we have more adjustment on these JK headlight beam patterns. So not only can we, are we just controlling that up and down, but now we can also control the horizontal and move those beams in and out, which, which will get us a little bit better spread on the road. But now you can see how we've really split these beams apart before those beams were really close to each other. And now we're farther apart. And we can easily adjust them. We're gonna leave our passenger side just a little bit high because that's more of a ditch light. That's more light up the side of the road here in North America. Ah. There you have it. A little more control for adjusting the headlights in your JK. And only for a couple bucks. Does it get any better than this? Well, yeah, I mean, I guess you can replace those second non-adjustable pins with another set of Euro adjustable pins, but then you can only adjust those pins if you happen to have the grill off, but you only need to do that if you change the head to your head, like, ah, what the heck. Hey, we hope that we've helped you gain a little more control over your headlights and to help keep you from becoming that Jeep guy with the blinding headlights. So, hey, you like these videos? Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and share it with all your wheeling friends. Check the description box down below for a link to where you can find Euro adjusting pins for your JK. And until next time, thanks Northridge Nation.